hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and this is part 10 of our video tutorial series for pwa or progressive web apps so from the previous tutorial we have learned that even if we have a new version for our cache um, we're still getting the old version of our cache inside our app so if you go into our browser and open up our app right here so even if we change something in here for example um, as you can see here we have the h4 or the heading 4 with the context word here or uh, yeah and as you can see inside our page we are not seeing the context heading 4 right here that's because the app itself is using the old version of our cache. So even if we are updating our cache right here, it says version 2, and refresh our page. So basically, we save our um, service worker file, and then refresh our page. Still, we're, getting, um, we're not getting the contacts um, heading right here. So that's because if we if we open the application tab of our um, developer console, um, right here we have the different versions of our cache. We have here the first version, and then the second, and then the third version that is um, newly created by us. So even if we change something inside our app or inside the index.html, we're getting the old version that's because the application cannot identify which version to get the index.html file because there are three right here right there are three index.html coming from the the first version the second version right here also the third version also contains the index.html so we need to find a way to let the user or let the application know where to get the index.html so in order for us to say to solve that we need to open up our service worker file and in here inside our activate event listener right here so currently we're just logging the service worker has been activated but inside here we need to do something and um, we want to delete the old versions of our resources or i mean the cache so that the application will know where to get specific files requested okay so in here again where we will try to delete the older versions of the cache so currently we do have the three versions so what we need is to add a logic right here to delete the old version of the cache now uh, the same with the install event right here we need to use or make use of the event object right here and um, use the wait until function again the purpose of wait until function is just to prolong the event of the activation of the service worker so that we could you know add more logic or add more code and do something uh, before the activate event ends there you go now what we could do here is we could open up the caches and then we could specify the keys and then uh, this particular function is asynchronous so it takes time to um, execute so we could add the then method right here and then open this one up and then we could specify the keys right here so these are all the keys re um, returned coming from this uh, line right here. So keys equals, not equals, um, we're going to do or we're going to add the uh, function right here. And then what we could do first right now is to console.log and then the keys from uh, our cache. So, again, we're using the, the wait until function right here to prolong the activate event. And 
while prolonging the activate event we could do something like opening the cache right here and getting all the keys and then this is an asyn um, asynchronous function where we could tuck in the then function right here and then we could get the keys returned from this particular function right here and for now we're, we'll, we will just display all the keys returned coming from our cache so what we could do is save the service worker file right here and go back to our browser and then uh, what we could do is refresh let's make sure to okay um, refresh and then instead of waiting we could you know skip waiting right here and our service worker will be activated and um, it will execute all this logic right here because our service worker is now newly activated and we could see all the keys right here for example uh, there are three keys that we have from the cache so the first version which is the original one that we have created from the previous tutorials and we have the second one which is we labeled it as the version one and the third one which is label, uh, labeled as version two so currently we're just returning all the uh, keys coming from our cache so what we could do also is try to remove the old versions of the cache again for us to uh, tell the application where to get specific files being requested by our app by our app so inside our service worker .js file um, inside here instead of displaying the keys what we want is of course to um, delete so I'm gonna um, write in a you know couple of lines of codes right here and then I'm gonna explain it later on so return promise that all and then we're gonna use the keys okay and then dot filter then in here we could specify the key equals key we're just checking if the key is equal to our or not equal to our um, cash name right here so key cache name and then if it is not the current cache name then what we could do is map that one um, map the content of this particular return and then map that and we will try to delete that particular key so key and then caches that delete there you go so basically what we are trying to do here is to return a promise and then because our um, caches that keys um, expect promises and then that's why we're using the promises that all right here and then we're using the keys we get we we got from this particular function and then we're trying to filter um, the the keys okay so if a particular key from this keys are not equal to the current version so meaning the current version will be excluded from uh, from this filter right here and then it will return all the cache key which is not the current cache name right here and then we could delete that particular key okay so we're specifying here caches that delete okay now um, if we save this and let's go back to our browser and refresh so we're getting now a new version of our service worker and then it says right here that we um, that it's uh, we have an option to skip waiting okay because um, this is waiting or yeah waiting for the new version of our service worker to be activated so what we could do is skip waiting so we could click on this and then of course the um, new version of, of our service worker should be uh, activated but we're getting the, the error right here fail to execute delete on cache storage one argument required but only zero present 
so we need to configure what is wrong with um with our code inside our service worker so it says right here this service worker the js d line 37 so fail to execute delete on cache storage one argument required but only zero present so let's go back right here so we're getting this particular error right here um, fail to execute delete on cache storage one argument required but only zero present um, that's because we need to save also other elements into our cache because currently we're just saving the static um, you know the composing of the uh, app shell of our app shell but basically there are other resources that we need to save for example if we go to the um, about section of our app and um, it says right here that uh, this site can be rich or simply because this particular um, resource right here is not uh, saved into our cache so we're gonna do that in the next video and we will um, resolve the issue of you know deleting the cache after activation or on activation of our service worker okay so thank you again guys for watching and see you in the next video